told several different stories relating to the eye. You didn't know what happened. You knew what happened. Everybody here knows what happened. Some people here know what happened. What do you think happened? I blacked out. I don't know how it happened. I wish you had said that in the moment because it caused so much damage. I think that, you know, an investigation was launched. People I wanted were that investigation. I woke and, up with the, but it there, was, there was an investigation right? yeah. that didn't find anything. And there no. was no additional footage, by the way, or else it would have been shown. I know, and shown. that was after the fact. I woke up terrified. I w had my I phone wish you plugged had said in. That. I was in why pajamas. Say, I wish you why had said that. Why say that you knew what happened? Because I was scared that they would rewrite the narrative in a way. If I said I didn't know, then they could say anything they wanted. And I was afraid. Who's they? Who's they? My castmates. No, if you said you didn't know what happened and you went to your room and said I blacked out because I drank too much. That, that's what I meant when I was like, everyone knows has happened. Like, no, I we didn't. Out. We didn't. No, I feel like they needed you to say the truth because it impacted people that were on production that were up late with us. I know, and I did. And then it makes I, them look like they came did in my it room, to you. I told them. Yeah. I said, I have no idea. I have no memory. And then it spun out of control after that. And but I take full responsibility. Livelihoods. It impacts everybody. And I'm really sorry. But I wish it's you terrifying. had just said you didn't remember. You blacked out. You were I blackout could, drunk. I could not even. I would have choked on the words that you said. It was humiliating. I don't want to black the, out. The door I don't want to get drunk and black out and have no memory of it. It's I, terrifying. You're not the first and it was housewife humiliating. that's Yeah, you're not the know, first one. For me, I have a lot of Mormon shame about drinking. And I've uh, already dealt with a lot of it on this show, and now it's public, and I'm waking up with not a friend in the world with a giant black eye, and that it was terrifying. It looked like you were assaulted. It did. I know. And you had scratches you had all scratches. over your body. Out. It was just like, I woke up in a very, very high-stress situation with so much shame and humiliation. There was no way to hide it, and I went to my thing, which is just humor, and like, just make it go away, and it didn't go away, but I certainly do not want to implicate anyone here, anyone on production, it's my own guilt and shame about blacking out and not being able to explain it. Walk me through what you do remember. I remember saying Marilyn died in the nude and us like flashing, you know, and the okay. titties part. I remember joking around with the boobs and I remember coming in my room, taking my wig off and that's it. And I woke up in my pajamas and a horrible black eye, and Jen said, scratches on my back and scratches on my arm, which could have been anything. And I didn't want an investigation. I didn't want to, like, I was Why? humiliated because I was embarrassed. Well, you just well, said, you, said, you, said, you, you, said you wanted an investigation. You said You just said, I wanted ago, an I wanted investigation. An no, I mean, I wanted an investigation to rule it out that I'd not been assaulted, but I didn't mm -hmm. want to do it then in San Diego. This is after talking to attorneys. To, I spoke with the doctor. He said, you'd have to have a medical condition to not know how you got that black eye. And I don't know how I got the black eye. The door handle jiggling was actually Meredith and Angie Kay and Jen coming into your room. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. Do you, you don't remember them coming into the room? I don't remember anything that I saw unfold on footage. I remembered uh, by Do the pool. Do you remember Meredith going into the room? And what remember? time was that, roughly? Late, like, like four I'm in the morning. Like four in the morning. Three, four in the morning. And, and were you as coherent. blitzed as everyone else? I don't think I was. No, I wasn't. I certainly wasn't blackout. No, I, 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 I. I was surprised because people had said, do you think Heather could have blacked out? And I said, honestly, that dinner was very long and the servers couldn't come in because we were arguing. So everyone was served one drink. And then we went to that club and we were there for, what, 20 minutes? Not long. It wasn't long. And um, so I didn't think anyone had had that much to drink. So why was Jen your first call the next morning to try to figure out what happened? Do you think Jen punched you in the eye? Why was Jen your first call the next morning to try to figure out what happened? Because I trusted her the most. Trusted her the most for what? For coming up with a cover story when you black out and you have a black eye. But it also made her look guilty too. The way that you talked about it, it really seemed like 
she, you two got in an altercation and you were like looking to her like, and it wouldn't are you be gonna surprising. say it? I mean, look at the like, yacht Do, do you the see that? Before. It like red, like. Did you ask her if, she, if it was she? Did you say, did you do this to me? I think we joked about it. Like, did I do this to you? Like kind of maybe in exchange, but like, it wasn't about that. Like I would have rather have Jen do that to me than a stranger. Do you think Jen punched you in the eye? I don't do you know. know. I mean, I don't want to. Do that's why know? I didn't want to have these questions, because I don't know. I blacked out. So you don't know if she punched you in the eye? I cannot speak to anything other than I walked to my room and I blacked out. Is there and a woke part of you? Is there a part of you that thought, if she did this, I want to cover it up so that she isn't penalized in any greater way by a judge or in her case. If I knew Jen did that, I would cover it up, but that was not my intention. I did not, I was blacked out. Is your biggest regret of the season not waking up and saying, you guys, I blacked out last night and I'm so embarrassed? I did say well, that when it first happened. You I were did. making comments in San Diego that you knew what happened, the women in the group knew what happened, that were causing confusion. Yeah, because we thought that maybe if they knew that we knew, I mean, somebody would maybe say something. And also, I started to remember certain things, like Jen picked up the wig, and I was like, where was the wig? I started to put clues together. Some things were coming back. I remembered, like, being by the pool. Like, you know what I mean? I, I thought, somebody here knows. Like, it was a horrible black eye that took 10 days. It did not look like a fall into a doorknob. We didn't even have doorknobs. You blacked out. Anything could have happened. Anything could have happened. And I assumed when I was on a show with cameras and cast that somebody would give me the trigger that would make me remember. And I still don't know. All right. I still don't know how I got it. I want to know from the ladies, how do you think this happened? I believed that she had an accident and didn't remember. She blacked out. Or Jen hit her. I have two theories. I thought maybe she tripped and fell. My second thing was Jen was very off and not present the next day. Mm -hmm. She was very quiet to herself. She was on her phone a lot. And then when production asked Heather at the Greek dinner, what happened to your eye? Jen looked at her quietly and said, what are you going to say happened? And that just gave me a very kind of dark feeling that Same. there was something that they knew that they were not sharing with the rest of the group. Dana? I think, honestly, they got drunk, they had a, a great time, and maybe there were some elbows thrown accidentally, or maybe she accidentally hit you, and she remembered it, but you didn't remember it. Angie Kay, at the finale, you said she may have received the black eye during Barbie scissor kicks and suggested <laughs> that it may be the result of some sort of sexcapade gone wrong. What led you to believe that? Well, I was talking to some people, and they said, have you ever heard of any sexual relations between Heather and Jen. Next week, it's